um, forgive me, but you can score 98 percent in an exams, and you can get a critic who says, "Why did you lose at that two percent?" Mm -hmm. You know, the fact that you are doing aggressive testing, tracing people, following contacts, and all that doesn't mean you pick everything in the world. And even when someone does an analysis and says that it is highly possible or is the case that this one person gave to 533, that also is based on what? Analysis and all that. Science never says never. And so the most critical and important point to take home is that that one person would have been on record, maybe by virtue of the laughs, to have had it before the 533. And I've said it before, when you have external conditions that favor transmission coming together, viral activity can be very high. And that's why two people can be COVID positive, but one can be more contagious than the other. It depends on the viral load. And it also depends on the particular environment. And before even we were told that it was a fish processing factory, mm -hmm. I told a friend that if you have a setting that is very cold, zero degrees or less, it gives you a climate that is like in Western or developed Europe. Yeah. So although you are in Ghana, such an enclosed space with a lot of viral exposure can be very contagious. So these are things that are possible. Mm -hmm. And what we must learn rather is that this is a virus that you should not take for granted. Yeah. That even if you have a positivity rate or infection rate of about 3% in our country, you never know when it can get very active. And so let everybody respect the protocol. Okay. So